Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. It's the second hour. We've got uh, Mr. Dave Shamandol from Slick Sticks. We have Jim DeLobby, teaching professional extraordinaire, and the one and only Mr. Billy Gibbs, co-host of Golf Talk Radio. I'm Mike Brabnick. Double zeros, and they call me, babe. Double, double zeros, zeros, man. Got no number. No nothing. And uh, we're going to move into clubbing with Dave. We were just coming back from uh, our third segment. We talked about favorite training aids. And, Jim, you were describing a throwing, what do you call it? They call it the swing coach, but it should be called the thrower. Oh, so it you throws golf balls name. with the golf clubs. I did. So people who could be Googling right now, tell them what they should So look. it's called the swing, swing coach. coach. <laughs> <laughs> the swing thrower. I'm looking up it the thrower. It acts like a thrower. And I got a bunch it's, of I'm baseball pictures over here. I'm it's, Googling it. I'm like, the thrower. What is that? I got, I got Sandy a boomerang. Colfax. I got a boomerang came you up. You could do that, Sandy Billy. Sandy Colfax came up. So he that's likes, true. And, and, and the, the swing coach is a gadget that's got a little uh, clip on the back. You can clip a ball into it. You make a swing, and, and the ball flies off the gadget um, at where you release, and it, it hopefully it goes toward your target line, and it teaches you to release the club and the, and the path on the right line. It's, fantastic. it's a great tool um, gadget. I knew Jim would love it when I got it. I wanted it, uh, <laughs> I want it when I was in where was I, Orlando and brought it back to Jim because, man, I knew he was going to dig it because you do have lots of gadgets, right? So. Yeah. Besides that one, mm-hmm. and uh, Mike's over, he's, he's, he's gone fire now. You can see his steam's coming mm-hmm. up. I know what his, his least favorite gadget is. Is, is that? <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> thing? The no. control panel. No. <laughs> so it's not the control panel. What is another one that you use often? Off, we talked about your grip, your grip print, which is yours, you just, and it is a cool <laughs> idea. And I also use it, too, just to you know, let people look down and see how their hands really do hang from their yeah. sides. Yeah. But what else you got? Swing circles. I, uh, there's a white swing circle that you can buy online. That basically they want you to touch it. Mine are uh, two circles that you swing between. You've seen them. It's yes. Black Lake. Yeah. I pulled them that out thing, of Black Lake. Yes. The double circles. The double circles. Put it on plane. That thing is I awesome. Thought I was Any plane circles. you want. You're double zero. I made it oh, out. We zeros. made it after you. We made it after you. So it's a big me. It's two double zeros that you swing between. It's a big so, me. So you kind of keep the club flowing between those things without whacking the circle. Right. Don't touch them. Did you break a few PVC pipes when you were building it? No. Did one of your clients ever do that? No, they yeah. broke a club once out of about well, 10,000 swings. <laughs> you know what would be really cool is if you put Because they were at the time. So it sounds if, to me. If, if you put somebody inside your double circles with a flail, Jeff, and then Jim if, they, if, broke his if they get off plane, oh my gosh. they're going to just destroy everything. Oh, my god! So it's a one-plane teaching tool? It it can be. I've, I've got it. I've done some manipulations. But yes, it's basically one plane. So Jim Furyk would break your circles? I could make them wide enough he wouldn't. <laughs> Because I can adjust them. Well, they can't be both sides of the range. I mean, they've got to close up. So, but I do what I'm hearing from, and and I, and Dave, I'm way on your school on this one. I'm I'm just I'm more of a non-gadget guy. But Mike's Jim's the one that Jim's the, the thrower, which is really called the golf coach, and his circles is all about feedback, so the player can learn instant feedback from what they're doing. So it, it, you're guiding them to a discovery of a, of a proper motion. Um, and I like that. And one of Mike's favorite, I don't know, I'm going to let him say his favorite, but, and, and Dave mentioned it during the break. I do love the orange whip putting wand. The I think putting that, wand. The putting wand is Tell us about it, Mike. So it, it looks like, it looks like. He's holding his hands up. <laughs> it looks like if you made a little like a paper cradle. boat. He's holding you know the little paper boats? They're kind of square, like a, like a, like a triangle like kind of turned upside like down. Like an origami thing? Yes. So it has a little like, like paper boat on the bottom, but it's filled in. One it's orange. Things. It's very heavy. And then the wand or the, the, the shaft that's on it is a, a very whippy kind of graphite. So if you start trying to move the putter handle with your hands, the bottom end of the putter starts <laughs> flipping. <laughs> and it goes, Great. boing. Hey, nice, Dave. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, you know, the first, the first uh, people that I used it with were the kids from the first tee. And they just, at first, I'm like, putt with this. They're like, no, that's not a putter. So I like, said putt with it. Is and it a it, boat on the end of a fly rod? Pretty much. And it's it's uh, it's got some some big weight at the bottom. So if you start flipping, that thing starts starts whipping. And what? No, and that, and that whipping. should be. The Do they have a chip? Do they have if a chip? Flipping, it's a whipping. They have the uh, they have their orange whip, their orange wedge, orange whip wedge, whip which the same thing. The wedge uh, is uh, really uh, heavy uh, on the uh, bottom, uh, so that you're not trying to. You're letting the club weight do the work. So Mike was swinging his arms back and forth. That so one's can... really hard for a lot of people, though. The putting wand is like instantaneous. You know, and then there's the orange whip, which is 
cut and dry. Actually, I, mean, I like that. I mean, that thing comes well, in a junior, well, a mid. Before uh, we talk about that, what's the swing. official name of your putting wand thing? So people it's are the putting, listening. It's the orange whip. The orange whip putting wand. It's the putting wand from the company, the Orange Whip Company. Yeah, it's orangewhip.com is where you can see all this stuff. And then you and I talked about it last show. They have the peel, the orange peel, which you can stand on for balance, and you can also stand it. Remember your. It looks like a snowboard. Remember the kinda, giant. It's like a snowboard, but it has yeah. all the angle. You can step up. Remember the giant up. hilly lies that we had. It's it's literally that, but it's compacted, and it has all the lies, and you don't have to be spinning around. You just set the thing on the ground. It looks like you're sitting on a half oval, like you're standing in it, and then so if you want it downhill or uphill, you just move, whatever way you want to so stand I have a on the. You have one at your uh, your course. Oh, yeah, we use What that is all the time. circle in the middle? What the purpose is that at all? Is that strictly structure? I believe it's structure. So that if you had like water, you know, you don't you don't want anything collecting so at the bottom it of the probably reinforces the, peel. the shape yeah. too. Because I was, I, I wonder wobbled. if it had a purpose. Yeah. No, it doesn't wobble. Doesn't wobble. It's stationary. It's it very looks stationary. like a snowboard. It has mm-hmm. angles like this, and so you can have you can stand this. Billy's way, waving his hands. This way. He's tilting. <laughs> yes, I'm He's tilting. Through. I'm showing. I've got a waving motion with both hands. It looks like a snowboard that's kind of concave. It's a mini ho- half pipe kind of thing. Yes. It looks like a little half pipe. Now the orange whip is very popular. I know yeah. when Dave when Dave chimes in that he likes it. A gadget, then that's and, and you know what too, I do too. And I yeah. but I have mine hanging on the, my antenna of my car, so because and it kind of just whops back and forth. Seventy sixty. Yeah, and I put. <laughs> I, but I actually balls. wrote sixteen forty eight on the dang thing or eighty seven on. Sixteen eighty seven. But um, yes. Yeah, but no, it is a good one. And so, do you want to explain what that is? The whip. Yeah. It's uh, same material almost as made out of the same material as the uh, the putting wand, the the head of the putting wand, and there's a it's a ball in the end. And then it comes in different lengths. So they've got a compact, which is like if you're going to travel and put it in your suitcase. They have a junior version. They've got a, um, a midsize, which is like irons. And then they've got a full whip, orange whip, which is like your driver. So it's... it's um, full it's, whip. Yeah, it's not only warm up, but they have drills that you can do to like strengthen your wrists. So like rolls, nice. you can, you, it shows you how to, with a pamphlet in there, it shows you how to work on your turn. It's very popular. Yeah, it shows you how to. It sh- you know what it really teaches a lot of people is how things lag, how the club should lag, like what it should feel like, the flow, oh, and the lag. And a lot of people yeah, don't um, don't understand that. And they put you put it in their hand, and they just start swinging it, and they kind of figure it out. It's like what what Billy was saying before. It's you don't really, really don't have to say much. You just here you go, here you go, swing this, and they're like, what? And then within like a minute or so, they're like, oh. Kids like to, to fling that thing around too. They so do. I, I, you don't want to get hit by one of those. No, you don't. That would um, hurt really bad. I my this. I mean, get getting deep on you guys here. Okay. My favorite swing training aid <coughs> is communication skills. Wow. I believe that wow, golf, dude. golf coach a total. Take that in for a minute, guys. Let's just let's absorb that. That's far out. It's awesome, huh, bro? Yeah. Because if you know a lot of uh, there are teachers out there that just teach the same thing to everybody and say it the same way they learn it, and that's what comes out. So they're just shouting stuff out t- to the student, um, and that's what they got. Here it is, man. You got to do this. I want you to do this. I want you to try to do this. I would like you to do this. I want you to try this because, and my way is to I'd rather ask the questions to lead them to discoveries. What would happen if you tried this? So learning communication skills and how people learn. Are you visual? Are you blind, like Micah sometimes? Um, yes. Uh, do you hear well or not? Did you, did you hear that, Dave? Hmm? See? Um, <laughs> so, I believe that good teaching comes from communication skills. Be a listener. Leaders listen. They don't tell, they ask. They are examples. They model. They praise, they have empathy, they are advocates, they are one with the student. Is there a leak in here? Somebody hear water? I thought the restroom. No. That's my... That was nice, wow. Billy. Man, I got a zen moment there. Deep moments with Billy Gibbs right there. That's so that I, was... And it's, it goes with Dave's tea. I, also, I use teas as well. Teas are one. <laughs> they are very cool. Yeah, teas are. I do. Use te- I use teas as well. So, I like teas a lot. But there are gadgets, and one of the cool things when we were doing the care program years ago that Jim created, there was a lot of different instructors and styles, and the students went to each of us, and the feedback was positive because we were all so different. 
but we all have the same mission. We're trying to get people to have more fun. It was weird, though, how I but, had so few students and you yeah, guys they, had so many. Yeah, they, very, very few were coming to your class. I don't get that either. But, um, but you know, it was a holiday that day. It was, <laughs> Well, maybe I was just scheduling on holidays. Oh, yeah. You're right. You were That's what the problem on the was. Wrong, and you should do it during the daylight, man. You should. It's, 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 well, you know, you're out there at six thirty. I night. thought I thought people wanted five a.m. classes. <laughs> get rid of the bullwhip, right? And, so what? Yeah. You will and keep I, your I head that down. Whistle, that whistle you used to hang on your neck. I, I, Spine. I had a ball mega- position. I had a megaphone. That oh, that could have been part of the issue. <laughs> it's part of it. Right. Oh man. Stance. And, <laughs> I should have done the I should have done the Billy Gibbs version. And you were texting your students at the same time, so that's you will issue, right? keep your head down <laughs> now. But, but I, how does that feel? Did that feel better? <laughs> what do you think would happen if you tried this? Oh, uh, you know what another gadget is? It's really cool. The the ping putting app is to me is one of the best putting gadgets you could ever What's have. What's that? Get that up. I don't know. <laughs> you take, it's on, it, it, it's on, a, so it's on an iPod, it's on an iPod, an app you put it on an iPod, the, the app is That's in your iPod, iPod like a phone, and the app, act, the, 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 the iPod cradles on the shaft of the putter, and it's square to the putter face, like this, so if the putter's here, square to the putter face, I'm holding my phone up over my finger. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. his phone. Pointing at Billy. And he's pointing, so it was kind it's of perpendicular. He's pointing more at the jug. Right, it's perpendicular, so... It shows. His finger, man. So basically, what it does, what? Fingers crooked. Oh yeah, my fingers are all crooked. <laughs> That's from playing football. Look at Ruth. So <laughs> how does he hold a golf club? He was club? Fun. No wonder your grip print is unique. <laughs> yes. You got a forty-five degree angle fingertip. See that? That's messed that up, is, man. That is really messed up. <laughs> I don't feel so good all the time. Ouch! You That's are right. so fun. It actually, it actually. I'm, I'm you, pointing at you, Billy. You do, you do five, you do five putts. And then it it tells you where the putter face was at impact and coming through where it's open, square, closed. And then it mm-hmm. tells you which putting stroke you most likely resemble. So there's straight back, straight through, slight arc, strong arc. And then you can take that and you can match up the putter designs wow. and the putter types so to the their, person. So their fitting system for putting is one of, mm-hmm. is one of the things. Because it, it helps yeah. people identify. And people, so many use the putter that doesn't match their stroke. A lot of people use the, the, face the real strong arc open, you know, like, a, like the ping zing was the heel shafted. Yeah. The ping zing, real strong open, closed, strong arc. And a lot of people that are slight arc, straw, straight back, straight through putters are using those putters. And they're wondering why they're having distance control mm. issues. Because that putter is just opening and closing so fast, and they they're trying to hold it open or they're trying to square it off, and they cut across it, and it's just it's just so simple and it's really cool. cool. And I would like to say, I'm looking at the app now, Mike. Your your modeling is very similar to the to the with in, my finger. The video. Except for this guy it's has a crooked straight, finger. Yeah, this guy has a straight <laughs> finger. Yes, <laughs> my finger. So, crooked. as teachers, um, do you guys? Do you almost always use gadgets with your students, or do you use training aids, or is that something you recommend at the end of the lesson? Does you bring into the lesson all of the above, or no no gadget at all? And I don't, I'm not talking about the, I know that this track man and stuff has its benefits, and I really do, and, and that's, that's more, you know, it's really good for fitting, I believe, and it's seriously good. You bet. And I, I and I understand that completely. So I'm just curious. Are you a, do you bring out your, do you have like a massive truck that comes in and bring all your stuff in that's like... Oh, I, I saw Jim pulling with a cart with all his gadgets on it. He broke the leaf springs on the back of the cart. <laughs> he's is, that what, satellite, is that what that sound like? Satellite right? dishes. He's got Velcro. <laughs> he got things on the roof. Are you are you that? I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. You know, I always joke. That's not what mm-hmm. I do. But um, do you bring always? A, They're just arrows in my quiver, ready when I need wow, them. Do you hear that? That's pretty good. Arrows in. We need music. Arrows in my quiver. <laughs> yeah, back, back it up. All right, come on, Jim. Little left, yeah. Jim. Use the orange whip. Whip come it. on, come oh. on. All right, use the peel. Turn the left. Okay, Jim, 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 Jim. Okay, Jim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, stop. Perfect. Let's dump it. Dump it here, people. <laughs> wow, Jim, that's not that's, I'd like to have that truck. You got them. <laughs> <laughs> They're just arrows in my quiver. How about you, Mike? Do you like bring that. your quiver down with you to every lesson? No. Do you have a quiver? Um, I have a bag that has, like, the bender stick in it, the orange whip, and so then... So you have, you have a quiver? You, yeah. just don't, you don't always bring it down? No. All right. No, you, it, do you have a quiver a or a bag of teas? I keep teas in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, so do I. Every, yeah, okay. every wash. Cock, 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 cock. There you go. Hey, that happens to me. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. We're uh, we're through clubbing with Dave already. Don't forget uh, Slick Sticks clubbing with Dave, your key fun. to better golf. Clubs, grips, repairs, adjusting loft and lies. Dave Schmantle, Slick Sticks, your winning combination. 
805-598-9993. And they sell tees. And they sell tees. (laughs) 805-598-9993. We'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. 